Chicago tavern style pizza is my latest food obsession. I'm gonna show you how to make this thin cracker crust right at home. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Tuan, and as usual, all the ingredients will be linked in the description box down below. First things first, we have some warm water between 100 and 110 degrees and about one gram of honey. This is gonna give the yeast some food to eat. This is a good way to make sure that your yeast is still alive. And while the yeasty boys are partying up in the sauna, we're gonna put our flour, salt, and butter into a food processor. Now, if you don't have a food processor, don't worry about it. You can do this by hand or with a stand mixer. I'm pulsing this mixture to make sure that the butter gets incorporated into the flour. You want kind of a crumbly texture as if you were making pie dough. And once the yeast has bloomed, go ahead and add it into the food processor. Your dough should be nice and crumbly, just like this. Now with these measurements, you will not need to add any more flour or water. On a clean surface, you wanna pour out your dough and just work it together. It will come together and all you need to do is just give it a little bit of encouragement, just like if you were making a pie crust. Gather all the escapees from the surroundings, mash them all together and just start kneading. This will only take a few minutes. This specific pizza dough recipe is very easy to work with. It only took me about three to four minutes to knead this into a smooth dough ball. Now, most Chicago tavern style pizza dough recipes I've found states that you can use this dough after about two hours or two and a half hours of proofing. Me personally, I love to proof every single style pizza dough that I like to make about two hours at room temperature and then into the fridge for at least 24 hours to develop maximum flavor. But that's just how I do it. It's all totally up to you. Now, the topping that I love on my tavern style pizza is Italian sausage. Now, you can make your own sausage. I do have a link down below for a recipe of mine that you should try. But today, I'm going to be using store-bought hot Italian sausage that I'm going to doctor up with some fennel pollen, some crushed Thai chili peppers, which I find to be a lot more spicy than the ones you find at a normal grocery store. And I'm going to amp up the garlic a little bit by adding a little bit more garlic powder. Now, you don't have to doctor this up. You can use it straight out of the package if you want. The choice is up to yours. But here is my secret ingredient, half a tablespoon of fish sauce. Now, don't freak out. You're not gonna taste fishy or the fish sauce. It's just gonna give this sausage a more full, robust flavor. And while the pizza dough is resting, I like to put my sausage into a piping bag and just let that sit and hang out in the refrigerator until we're ready to go. Now this dough is after two days. As you can see, it is all wrinkly. So that means that it proofed and it deflated, which is what we want for this style pizza. We don't want air in our dough. As for dusting my pizza, I use a combination about two parts semolina to one part bread flour. Some people like to use fine cornmeal. It's all up to you. Roll this dough out as thin as you can. And I've seen people use plates or pie pans to cut a perfect circle out of your dough. You can do that if you want, but personally, I like the rough, jagged, rustic look. I'm going to dock this pizza dough to prevent air bubbles from forming because I really want that thin cracker crust. Now it's time to sauce this pizza. Now, most Chicago pizza recipes that I've seen use tomato puree. Well, I'm a huge fan of San Marzano tomatoes, so that's what I used, along with tomato paste with some honey, oregano, garlic powder, and I added a tiny bit of chili flake to my recipe. But definitely feel free to use whatever sauce that you like. I like to shave a little pecorino on top of my sauce before I cheese it up with a full fat, low moisture mozzarella cheese that I cubed up. I love the way cheese cubes melt on pizza and it stays in my opinion, it stays a little bit creamier. Now, after we cheese our pizza, let's take our sausage and top our pizza. You wanna be liberal with this and make your sausages into about a little size of marbles. That's what I like. By adding your ground sausage raw and uncooked onto your pizza results in a more robust sausage flavor because none of the juices and the fat have cooked out. Now, finish with a little sprinkle of oregano, put this on your pizza peel, and I'm going to be cooking this pizza in my uni pizza oven. My stone is set to about 700 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, if you don't have an uni pizza oven, cook it in your oven as high as your oven will go, about 500, 550 in your oven, probably about eight to 10 minutes. 
but in this uni which i'm turning the gas down to about 30 percent this will take about four minutes now the reason why i turned this gas down is because it's such a thin dough and we have raw sausage on top i want to make sure that the sausage cooks all the way through and as you can see we have some really nice char on the edges which is going to result in a very crispy thin crust the leopard spotting underneath this pizza is a little aggressive i think on my next cook i'm going to launch it at a lower stone temperature maybe about 625 650 but nonetheless this pizza looks gorgeous melted cheese sausage is cooked all the way through really nice thin crust all right let's get this onto a pizza plate and cut into it now this is what i'm excited for let's give this a listen Oh man, that sounds so crispy. I can't wait to dig into this. All right, I'm gonna finish cutting this up. Then I'm gonna take you to the dinner table and we're gonna give this pizza a try. All right guys, so here is my Chicago Tavern style pizza. Thin crust, as you can see, it's already like crackering, breaking apart. I'm gonna take this corner piece right here. Actually, you know what? Everyone says to test out a Chicago style pizza, you gotta take a piece in the middle. So let's take a square piece here. You can see here, right? It's pretty, looks pretty legit. Look at that guys, look at that crust on the bottom, nice char. All right, here we go, cheers. Mmm. That is really good. You can see the crust is flaking here. Oh man. Now, there isn't quite a crisp as I imagine would be on the edges here. But it's not floppy. It's not soggy as you can see here. It's pretty dry. Mm. There's something about this style of pizza that I absolutely have fallen in love with recently. My friends from Chicago, they all say, you know, deep dishes for the tourists. If you want real Chicago pizza, this is what you go for. You can see bubbly here. I really do like this amount of char that we have. It doesn't taste burnt, but it tastes pretty awesome. Oh, and also I have some chili flakes. Let's put some on top. All right, here you go, guys. Doesn't that look awesome? Let me know what kind of pizza is your favorite kind of pizza. Thick crust, pan, hand-tossed, Neapolitan, New York, Chicago. Mmm. So good. Look at how thin that is. But yeah, look at that. Nice pizza. The oven was really hot. I turned the heat all the way down to about 30%. And that's in between the highest setting and the off switch. So you gotta like push that knob in and just kind of finagle it a bit. Tastes awesome. <laughs> so hopefully you guys will give this recipe a try. It's really easy to make and rolling out the dough is so easy. Before we go, I wanna share with you guys one last bite. Oh, hold on. Let me get this crumb off my hand. All right, one last bite. Look at that. Awesome flakiness, crispy. Mmm. Amazing. Mmm. Again, thank you so much for spending time with me. I hope you liked the video. Smash that thumbs up button, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell. Take care of yourselves, and as always, peace.